Morning folks. Welcome back. It's been a couple of days. I've been really, really busy. And a lot of you may not know that I picked up a full-time job. I am still working my part-time job and I am still trying to do the full-time job of homesteading, right? So it's been kind of busy. It's been kind of insane. But it's been fun. It's been invigorating. And we move on, right? So this morning, I got up nice and early, right? And there's not much I can do out in my garden where it's wet. And when I mean wet, we didn't get rain. We got a pretty heavy dew this morning. That's good. That gives the plants a little bit of a drink. So today, well, this morning, what's on my mind is asking, how you all doing out there anyway? You all doing all right? Considering the times, considering every everything that's going on, uh, not many of us are, are relaxed in what's going on, right, or what's coming. But how you doing mentally? How you doing mentally? Are you faring all right? Are you keeping calm? Are you trying to stay busy? Are you trying to get things done? But are you taking the time out to laugh and enjoy life a little bit? Do you need to take a, a step back from it? Now I know I know quite a lot of you are homesteaders, preparers, and you just feel this huge push to get everything done, get as much done as you can. And because anything can happen at any time, right? Even in even in the good times, anything can happen at any time. Well, while it's good to be busy and, and push on, that is good. That's important, right? It really is. The sun is moving, so I apologize. The uh, There's really not a good place here in the morning to, to film. So, But I know a lot of you are pushing, and you feel this drive, and you feel this this just this push to get everything done as fast as you can so you can so you can feel that you are where you need to be and honestly I don't think any of us feel we are where we need to be even if we are where we need to be right so the mosquitoes are insane and I was only going to be out here for a minute but the, uh, so you've got the, the mentally prepared. Are you taking the time out to sing a tune during the day, a hum, to laugh, to joke around, to relax? Because that's all important too, right? There's a time to be serious and there's a time to be vigilant. And there's a time for, for just plain, ordinary, life is good moments, right? There are. So... How you doing? How you doing physically? Are you taking breaks when you need to? Now a lot of you folks are right around my age and a little bit older. And I know our brain tells us that we can still do everything that we could 20, 30, 40 years ago. And our bodies are telling us no, no, we got to have a little, we got to have a little conversation between the mind and the body, right? It's an awful hard adjustment, folks. In my mind, I still think I'm 20. My body says, yeah, no, that's, that's been a long time, long time ago. So you got to adjust to the, you've got to adjust to where your body is, right? And your aging body. So it's important that we take breaks. It's important that we drink water. It is important that we eat healthy, nutritious meals, right? This time of year for a lot of us who garden, we have a lot of vegetables coming off in the garden and vegetables are really good for you. 
eating raw vegetables is really good for you. You have to get your protein in there. You have to get all this stuff, right? So, you know, gone are the days. Well, I can't say that very much because I burn both ends of the candle and I know a lot of you folks do too, right? Gone are the days where we can stay up till 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, get a couple hours sleep, bull, bull throughout the day, get all hot and sweaty and overexert yourself and and a couple hours you can revitalize, right? Well, that's been my way for a lot of my life. And even though I do burn both ends of the candle quite a lot, um, it does catch up to me, right? That, you know, when I sit down in the recliner just for, just to get some, kick my shoes off and get some air to my feet, and I sleep 12 hours, I know I've, I've been overdoing it, and I'm behind on my sleep, and I probably should have been taking better care of myself, right? So all those things on your to-do list, your priority list, maybe we should go back through them and, and just do the number one priority and work on that for a while. Whether you complete it or not, just work on that for a little while. And you've also got to take time to rest. You've also got to take time to enjoy life, right? So physically, taking care of yourself is very important, and it will be in the, in the future, right? Just by the nature of what's coming and trying to survive if it gets as bad as some people think. So... Physically, getting yourself in shape if you are not in shape. Now, I consider myself in pretty good shape. I am a 56-year-old woman who has some weight on her, but I'm in pretty pretty good shape. I'm very strong, and but I could lose a few pounds too. And you would think I would be too, as much as much as I walk, pull, tug, and lift, and throughout every every day so even even with my extra weight uh, I could still stand to lose probably 40 pounds now I can tell you right now is the weight that I feel the most comfortable I might not look like I feel the most comfortable but I'm, I'm the most comfortable if I lose another 20 pounds I start feeling lanky and that's just my comfort zone is where I am now and that's my natural my natural body weight so mentally physically and spiritually all right so you've also got to keep your spirit up you've got to remain where you feel that you need to be spiritually no matter what what spirit no matter no matter what you believe you still have to be true to yourself you have to be honest to yourself and those around you you have to keep your your faith in what you believe in and not deviate from that right because that's part of who we are and that makes us feel pretty good right so it's just important that we take care of ourselves on a well-rounded basis we need to rest our mind when we need to we need to rest our bodies when we need to right so things get done in time and taking a five or ten minute break is not going to set you back it's going to get your body further ahead so you can do do more right I I uh, do want to know where the heck a few people are now there's a nice lady that used to be on here and she used to comment quite a lot and we used to email and she sent me a few things folks she sent me she sent me some C's which are really nice um, she's kind of dropped off the face of the face of the earth so I'm not really sure where you are Carolyn B I know that you are about my age and I know that you were working really really hard trying to get everything that you need in order and I just want to know if that if you're alright because I know you're 
you're as like-minded as the rest of us and I know you were overdoing it and trying not to so I just hope that you are all right so some people just are having a hard time balancing everything and it's okay to take a break if you need to mentally from all of this turn off the TV turn off the radio turn off YouTube and just regroup because it can get right into your psyche right it can get you awfully depressed it can it can make you awfully anxious um, it can make you worry and really it all it all should but sometimes it gets so much that we have a hard time regulating and we just have to step back so I, I step back from the shit at the fan stuff for quite a while well for me quite a while and a few things happen that I kick myself right back into that high gear of preparing and all that but I took a I took a nice mental break from it so and sometimes that is needed so we have to take care of ourselves folks I hope you are taking care of yourselves somehow convince yourself that it's okay to take even a whole day off take a whole day off just go and do something fun or catch up on your sleep or sit down with a pen and paper and make a to-do list do some research right take inventory maybe um because that all needs to be done too right it does so when you need a break maybe just back off and do some of those other things which are very important and and a must so I guess this is it I'm gonna go I have to wait for the dew to get off the plants again that was an awful heavy dew folks so I need to go and finish tending to my birds I need to put fly dope on see how many babies came off during the night and throw some more more coop litter down inspect my birds make sure everything is all all going all good and I've got a busy day there's a few more things I'd like to talk about but right now I need to start my day and play a little catch up a little bit because I've been doing that full-time job right so in that job folks it's a job that I fell into and I'm very very thankful it is a very good job it is not a job in the health field which I have been doing for many many years it's a total career change so it's going to be exciting and I think I'm I think I'm really going to like it but it's going to take time away from from the homestead here between that and the part-time job which I am keeping so get as much done as I get as much done as I can while I am here and try to keep up on on videos the videos might not come every day folks or they could be three or four videos depends on what's going on and and what I feel I need to say so I just want to make sure that you all are taking care of yourselves and you're all okay if if you feel that you need to stop watching some of these videos then you really should do that and don't feel guilty about it I'm talking I'm talking taking a reprieve from all the channels whether it's YouTube the television the radio right so you all be good I hope you're all well and take care of yourself because you're the only one that can do that right all right thank you